Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tulu. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been here before and you just you're coming back again. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. I'm still at work. Yeah, still at work, but I'm trying to fill out some data log and stuff on the tablet. I mean, on the desktop. <sighs> yeah. Yo, guys, um, I'm not happy. I'm able to do this video right now because nobody's here. It's just me here for just for now. My other my coworker is downstairs, so it's just me here right now. Um, I'm not happy. I just really wanted to do this talk with you guys real quick because when I get home, I don't think I want to be talking. I just want to do whatever I want to do. You know, do some quiet kind of video but you see my mood not being too lively and stuff because i'm not actually happy my car is faulty and it's not just little thing i drive infinity that car is expensive <laughs> like fixing it is expensive and it's crazy because whatever is wrong with it i took it to the this this today is tuesday it's the 20 21st of april Oh, I said April or May. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But it's 21st of May and um, my car has been giving me issues since like the beginning of this month. I've been spending money since the beginning of this month. The brake, the 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 lights, I've been spending money since the last, late last month. And then boom, all of a sudden, that was last week, Sunday, there about. I was driving, I was driving to work. I had this client, I'm supposed to meet you know, on Sunday morning, not here, but I had a job. And in the morning, I felt this car was jerking. And just so you know, I just, I, that it just started that day. Because my car has jerked like that before, before a long time ago. And whenever it's jerking, I know it's oil, but I just changed my oil like two, three weeks before that day. Yo, <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with this car? But in my mind, I'm like, I just want to get to my client's place. I was able to get there, take me and sound. Thank God, it was like 20 minutes drive from my house. I got there, I was done with work. When I finished work and I'm about to leave because it was on Sunday and I was just walking 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. My church started by one, so I was going to go back home, get dressed, and then go to church. But, um, going back it got worse like my my car was doing vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> you know it's when it's like you're you're forcing the car to move it was crazy and so i just had to call my uncle because anything that's wrong with my car it's my uncle i called first i called him and um he told me it was home it was back from his own church because we don't go to the same church it was back i'm so happy because where he lives and where my client is is check just 10 minutes drive so far but I was, I just thank God. I feel like God just knows that I actually wanted to go that day to serve him. And that was why he protected me and make sure I go to my uncle's place, Sylvia and Sam. Because by the time I got to my uncle's place, my uncle checked the engine. There was water all over the engine. The oil was dried. The water, you know, the water freeze. People who drive car, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. The water freeze or water freezer or something. I don't know, but it's supposed to be color pink, right? The water was was color brown, so it was like the water and the oil mixed together. My uncle was like, "How are you able to drive this car down here?" I'm like, "I don't know. It's God. It's God. I just thank God for my life. Nothing happened to me." <laughs> It was crazy. I was so scared. Like, what's going on? I couldn't go to church that day, and I just had to pray to God. I just keep thanking God, but I couldn't go to church that day because I was late already. And my, own, I was going to go to my other job again, so my uncle just dropped me at my other job. And since then, he took it to the like I said, it was on Sunday. He took it to the mechanic on a Monday, and the mechanic fixed it, did whatever I could. I I got my car back on Tuesday. I got it back on Tuesday. But you know, I wasn't working that day. I took time off because I was just going through it and I was having some stomach issues. It was just a lot that week. That week was just bad. 
well i just keep thanking god i'm alive that's what that's all that it's important so yeah i got my car back on tuesday but i didn't really use it i just dropped yeah, it took it, pick it up from the mechanic and then leave it at home. I didn't go out Tuesday, Wednesday, I didn't go nowhere. Until Thursday, I, go, I went, I resumed back to my my other job. You know, you guys know I mentioned my new job. My day off is Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's why I'm doing this video right now. I'm able to do it. But this is my second job, which is overnight. I have overnight those days too. So. But I see someone in the comments saying I don't I don't rest. I actually do. Because this job right here, the one I have right now, it's the, the overnight I, I I get to sleep. Yeah. I get to sleep. I get to sleep from twelve AM twelve PM to no twelve AM midnight. I get to sleep from twelve PM no twelve AM, sorry. I get to sleep from twelve AM to seven AM. So I still get the normal seven hours sleep that a normal human being needs. So I'm good okay I get to rest but thank you for caring but back to the car issue and then on Thursday I was going back to work I got back to work I packed I noticed something was leaking from my car underneath what is going on again but I called my uncle and then while I was driving back to work I was still feeling like it's jerking just a little bit it was not like it was before but just a little bit so I called my uncle he told me I could bring it to him because where I work and where it works is like 10 minutes drive it's not far away at all so later on you know when it was during my break at my, my job I took the car over to his own workplace so he could check it and the, it was leaking he said the oil is leaking. He said I shouldn't worry because even the mechanic, when he fixed it that time, told him that he can only help with a little bit for he think I might end up having to change transmission. I'm like, wow, okay. I took the car back to my workplace and then my coworker saw it and it was like, what is that leaking? I said I was just coming back from my uncle's place and then he said, and my uncle said it's the oil he said that doesn't look like oil it bent down to touch what was leaking and he said this is more liquid this looks like oil and water so the oil and water mixed again leaking i'm like oh god i called my uncle immediately my uncle came pick up the car left his own car with me so that's why i was able to get back to get back home that day and then on friday I took it back to the mechanic the mechanic said it can't do anything about the car all I have to do is just get a new transmission, guys. If I tell you, it's on, it's on Friday now, guys. You know, my uncle has to take his own car back, he has to work, so he doesn't have he has two jobs, so like me. <laughs> so, so on Friday now, I'll be using Uber back and forth to work. It's been crazy, like it's it's a lot because Uber is not, it's not like I'm paying ten dollars for Uber, I'm paying like 20 25 dollars for Uber, and I walk two different places and they're not close by. They're like 20 minutes, 25 minutes drive away from each other. Take your Uber uh, back and forth. Right now, I'm about, I'm about to call Uber again to take me home. My co worker lives somewhere around here, so it's not fair for her to be taking me, taking me because from here, from where I work right now to my my house is like 25 minutes drive. So I can't even, I, I didn't go there to ask her, like, no. Nah. Since she lives 10 minutes here, yeah, it's like, no, nah, never mind so yeah this i've not been myself because it's just hard you need car in this country you need car that's it because uber is now and there's no buses i can't count how many bus we have in this state this state in particular this state i can count how many buses we have and even those buses there's certain places they get to it's not every place they go to the buses are cheap but they don't get to where i'm working <laughs> it's it's just it's just a lot it's a lot of thing going on okay but i'm just gonna finish this thing i'm doing let me show um i'll talk to you guys when i get home or when the uber is here because i'm gonna call my uber now right now and i'll leave
Yeah.